Bless the Lord, warriors of God. Derek Lee here with Praying for America and time spent with the word. Spirit of the living God, we welcome the Shekinah glory. We welcome the fire of the Holy Ghost. We welcome the Ruh Kadesh, the breath of God to blow and breathe on us right now. We welcome the oil of joy, oh God, on this praying for America this morning. We welcome the garment of praise on this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, we welcome the glory of the Lord. We welcome the presence of the Most High God. We welcome the angels of the Lord concerning us, giving charge over us. We welcome, my God, the divine presence of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ as we pray for America this morning in Jesus' name. The book of Acts chapter number seven, verse number 30 on down reads, after 40 years had passed, an angel appeared to Moses in the flames of a burning bush in a desert near Mount Sinai. When he saw this, he was amazed at the sight as he went over to get a closer look he heard the lord mm. may america hear the lord today may oh mashia kase may the nation that fear god hear the lord today may the nation that says in god we trust my god ah hear the Lord today. May the nation who have printed on its currency in God we trust mm, hear the Lord today. He says, mm, hallelujah, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses trembled with fear and did not dare to look. Just reading that, mm. I feel the heat of the presence of the Lord, the God of the covenant, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who is a covenant keeping God, Jehovah, Yahweh, and there is nobody like him. When he makes his covenant with his people, he is a promise keeper. Thank God he is not a man that he should lie. If and when God makes a promise, that promise has a yes and it has its amen. Hallelujah. So be it God. What has God promised you as a mother, as a father, as a son, as a daughter? What has God promised you, my God? God has made a covenant with this land. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. God has made a covenant with this country, the United States of America, because mm, the fact that it is called the United States, mm -hmm, there is power in unity when we come together. So God's covenant with this country shall not, will not ever be forgotten. Why? Because when God makes a promise, he is faithful. Oh, he is true to his word. He is true to his promise. My God, the Bible says, and the promises of God are yes, and they have the amen, and so be it. So the God of covenant, as Moses, my God, encountered the Lord. First, it was the angel of the Lord. And the Bible says, when he saw this, he trembled, my God. May America tremble on today at the presence mm, of the Lord God himself. May the nation tremble mm, at the presence of those that the Lord has sent in the land to warn the land, to encourage the land, to rejuvenate the land, to revive the land, to restore the land, and to bring recompense and retribution mm -hmm, and return back to its people everything that have been stolen from we, the people. My God, Jesus, you know, we've been praying for this nation for years now, and I am sensing we are in a time mm -hmm, where all of what have been spoken, all of what have been prophesied over this land, the time is now for heaven's invasion. Why am I saying this? 
in prayer earlier this morning. I rested and meditated after that. And then a very quick, within seconds, I had a vision. It looked as if mm -hmm, from the left to the right, from the left to the right, on each end, there was what looked like a buckle, like you get in a car and you have to buckle your seatbelt. It looked like a buckle with seatbelts. And what it was is that, and it had like a camouflage, like an army type green color. One was coming over from the right. One was coming over from the left. And they both had to be joined together and click together. Mm -hmm. And that quick, I saw this vision and it was coming actually from the sky because the, the, the stripes were covered with the clouds. That's what I saw. The stripes were covered with the clouds and I saw it coming forth from each end and click a middle and it's coming like just coming to get a click, clicking together. Mm -hmm. And so in that instant, in that moment, I asked, I said, now, Lord, what could this be? And what could this mean? And very quickly, within seconds, I heard the armies. He says mm -hmm, that the army of heaven are on their way to invade the earth. Yeah, God. The army of heaven are on their way to invade the earth. And when they are invading the earth, they shall protect and cover those who have been marked with the blood of the lamb. Ooh, I feel the heat. I feel the heat. I feel the heat. And so, God, we thank you. Thank you, God. We pray to be found worthy. Father God, I pray to be found worthy. <laughs> yeah. We pray, oh God, to be found worthy when you come down in Jesus' name and you send forth your army and you send forth your host. When the angels of the Lord have arrived on this planet Earth, literally to carry out your mm -hmm, divine assignment, I'm asking God that we be found worthy to escape hey, the wrath that is to come. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the nation today. We ask, oh God, that your hand of glory will rest. We pray for our president, oh God, today. We ask that your hand of glory will rest, that God, you will vindicate him, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And that, Father God, you will let the world see and know the truth, and the truth will set us all free. I am my shape. And Father God, I pray for his precious family, that you will watch over them, protect them from danger, seen and unseen, and let the peace, the shalom, haya, the peace of God that surpasses every understanding, the peace that makes no sense in the midst of trouble, in the midst of calamity, in the midst of false accusations, the kind of peace, oh God, that only comes from you. For you said you will keep him in perfect peace, Ayah Mashe, whose mind is stayed on you. And so Abba, I'm asking you right now to cause your peace to rest heavily on his family right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, God, I say today, God will arise and the enemies of God will be scattered. And I bless your name. Now, God, we go forth into the world. We know that we are not of the world, but we live in the world. So we ask, oh God, that you will cover us with a blanket of glory, cover us with a blanket of your blood, cover us with the anointing oil, oh God, and make us slippery for every tick and every tricks and schemes and devices of the enemy that anything try to come near us or where we are shall slip and fall because of the anointing that removes the burdens and destroys the yoke in Jesus' name. And so God, unto today, I ask that you will bless every household watching this, bless every household standing in agreement with this prayer that we pray this morning because we're expecting, anticipating the arrival of the army of heaven to invade the earth. And we thank you for giving us the full warning. That's right. So this is a warning so that we, the church, the people of God, we, the people of this land, will prepare, 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 prepare. Not only prepare, but pray to be found worthy to escape the wrath that is to come because God will protect those who he has marked 
and those that are his. In the name of God, the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God and the Ruh HaKadosh, the breath of God, the Spirit of Santos, the Holy King, guys, the Allos Paracretos, be with us all until the next time, by his grace, we are able to come on with praying for America and time spent with the word. The Lord be with you and us with me. The Lord bless you and me. Until the next time. Shalom.